This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by mail two jail dot com. Something that rhymes with com. These grainy cell phone images are the last known shots of Sam Dodson as a free man. Within half an hour, he was hauled to jail for attempting to videotape in the Keen, New Hampshire District Court lobby. What is this man being arrested for? He has since been held for over three weeks at the Cheshire County Jail in Westmoreland. Since then, he has described horrific conditions inside that jail. Sweltering temperatures, fecal material pouring out of commodes, and a lack of access to the law library. But now Sam is reporting an improvement in his conditions. He says his unlicensed counsel, Ivy Walker, has been allowed access to him now. Before, she was only allowed intermittent access. And he says, quote, I have everything I need in here now, and I'm reading lots of books. Commissary came in Friday, so I no longer need to trade meals for anything, unquote. Dodson has been on hunger strike for at least part of the uh, three-week stay, so he has been uh, trading his meals for stamps and so forth up until now. Dodson also reports that he is being allowed to uh, go outside into a caged area outdoors fairly often. But there's no clear word uh, regarding the toilet situation, except that he is apparently sharing a some sort of gymnasium with 26 other inmates. They're all sharing the same toilet, or same bathroom at least. Sam is specifically requesting that people who support him write letters to the editor for their local paper about his situation. If you have a local paper, chances are they have already been covering the jailed American journalist who's uh, held in Iran. You could always write them a letter to the editor thanking them for their coverage of that, but reminding them that there is an American uh, videographer uh, jailed of you know in, in similar situation. Lastly, I got a letter from the jail superintendent, uh, Richard Van Wickler. It actually was a response to a note that I sent him in February, and he sent it back. He sent his reply in February. However, I apparently misplaced it and just found it a few days ago. It's not directly related to Sam, but I'll go ahead and uh, read it to you anyway, because it does have to do with with conditions in, in the jail. Uh, basically, I had been writing him uh, for the purpose of informing him that I was probably coming to the jail uh, uh, for uh, a videotaping the courtroom lobby. As it turned out, I was arrested for doing that, but they did not take me to the Cheshire County Jail. So here's the note, dated February 25th, 2009. Dear Mr. Ridley, it is my hope that you will avoid having to come to jail. I do realize that you will do whatever necessary you feel is effective in your quest. I have strict guidelines for our institution that everyone is to be treated with respect and humanely. Further, there is to be no differential treatment of any offender. As an inmate, you will not be authorized to possess any photography or audio recording devices." Now this is a response. The reason I sent him a note was I was requesting uh, permission to have a camera delivered to me as an inmate because I was expecting to be jailed in there and I wanted uh, someone to bring me a camera, and I wanted him to either say yes or no to that. I figured no harm in asking, but anyway, here's the rest of his uh, no. Uh, We will, quote, we will try hard to preserve your dignity and ensure a peaceful process should you become incarcerated. One of our goals is to provide a peaceful and orderly environment, and each rule exists for a purpose. Safety, security, and the preservation of human rights are of paramount concern to us. You have laid out a series of requirements that you seem to want honored by me. While I respect all of our inmates and have personal wishes of success for each of them, none of them is in a position to require me to do anything. While I have significant hope that you will find some other and more effective way to call attention to your cause, I sense that I will be seeing you on the 3rd. Your work on the steps and halls of the State House is a far more productive venue, I feel, than jail. Kind regards, Richard Van Wickler, Superintendent. 
Well, about a week later, I was arrested, but again, not taken to the Cheshire County Jail. Uh, and then a month later, uh, uh, Sam Dodson was arrested for the same thing, videotaping in the courtroom lobby. Anyway, the information in this letter does verify a lot of what Sam has been telling us. Uh, about Superintendent Van Wickler's orientation and uh, uh, some of what's going on in the jail there. I've since contacted Superintendent Van Wickler three times in relation to Sam's arrest and have never received any response for any of that. I always call him and leave a number and I never get a return call. That's the latest on the jailed videographer situation is Keene, New Hampshire's right to record revolt nears the end of its first month. Dave Ridley signing off for RidleyReport.com this March 7th, 2009. Do you want to support a jailed New Hampshire liberty activist? Without even leaving your computer? Without even spending a dime? Send them mail in jail from your computer. It's easy and free. For details, visit mail-to-jail.com Something that rhymes with com